Are you surrounded by negative teammates? This is Gustavo Dantas and welcome to vlog number 18. Have you ever had a teammate that you actually like, but is consistently negative? Always complaining, nagging, blaming others, basically becoming a toxic person. And here's the thing, I understand that we all go through rough times. Maybe moments that we're down or maybe we're venting more with friends and loved ones. But some people take to another level consistently for a long period of time. So today I'm gonna to share with you three options to help you to avoid making the mistake number six of the list of the top 10 mental mistakes jujitsu competitors make and how to avoid them, which is competitors being surrounded by negative people. So if you are not only interested, but committed to growing, evolving, not only as an athlete, but as a human being, this video is for you. Imagine you're about to compete in the finals of a tournament, and then you see one of your teammates, and he or she asks you, hey, who are you going against? And you answer, yeah, I'm going against a competitor right there. And they look at it like, ooh, I don't know if you're ready for it. He or she is a lot more experienced. They've been competing for a long time. So if you lose, don't feel bad. You'll be okay. It'll be a great learning experience. How would you deal with this situation? Number one, you agree with it. Say, yes, I really thought I could win, but maybe you're right. Or maybe number two, you totally disagree. And you say, what? And you get hostile. That was one of my favorite ones when I was younger. And the third one, maybe say, well, we're agreeing to disagree. Maybe you think that I'm going to lose. I believe I'm going to win. So the choice of how we're going to handle this, it's 100% yours, right? And this scenario actually happened in 2006 during one of my tournaments that I promote here in Arizona. And I didn't have any mental skills training knowledge back then, but I just figured that's not okay. And I said something, and I said something to, to the teammate that said like, dude, you, you can say that. And I mentioned to the competitor, hey, just go there, do the same thing you, you've been doing throughout the day, transfer your work from the academy to the competition. That's it. And he ended up winning the match. And I told, and I talked with the other teammate after like, man, you gotta really watch what you say, like right before a tournament. And here's from someone that, cares about him and they hang out together, but he was transferring his own self-limiting beliefs and negative patterns to him. So you have to be not only self-aware of your own thoughts, feelings, behaviors, what's really going on in your head, but you need to be aware of the social awareness, which means other people also have dark passengers and a lot of people don't have filters and they're going to put it out towards you and you have to defend yourself. So now, how you can deal with this negative people? So today I'm gonna to share with you three options that I learned from the motivational speaker, Jim Rohn, in his theory of the power of the association. And of course, you can use this not only with teammates, but any personal associations in your life. And this is how it goes. First one, delete. In this case that I just mentioned, when I talked with a teammate that gave the negative feedback, he mentioned to me like, man, I didn't even realize that I do that. I apologize and he stopped doing it, which was great. But what about if maybe you approach someone and tell them like, hey, I really don't like when you do that. And they keep doing it and over and over and over and get to a point that I'm gonna have to delete this person. So that's one option. Number two, Minimize the time with this association. Jim Rohn mentioned something very interesting and say that some people are okay to spend a few minutes with it, but not a few hours. Some people are okay a few hours with it, but not a few days. So I understand that some people can say, man, I can just delete people. And especially when we start getting in a big picture, we'll talk about family or longtime friends. But maybe if you say like, I tried, it's not working. I don't want to delete. Minimize the time you spend with this association. Because if every time you have an interaction and it's negative and you don't want to delete, that's a good option to minimize the time that you spend with this person. And the third one is to expand association, which means you 
not really clicking with this person constantly negative and like i want to maybe find other people to hang out with maybe that is in the same vibe a little more positive and this can go to so many different routes of this talk but for example if you're in an academy that you're not happy with it you just don't like where it's going you don't vibe with people maybe it's time to expand your association maybe go train somewhere else or maybe activity that you know there's a topic that you like and you don't know anyone in your life that likes this topic expand your association maybe join a club join a group that actually have the same interests that you have and here's the thing i understand that there's so many unique scenarios relationships to take in consideration that it's it's hard to say do this that but at the end of the day here are the three basic options delete minimize or expand because if you're not happy you're not okay with it and you keep doing the same thing is not going to change and you're going to be very frustrated so analyze the three delete minimize the association or expand and make a decision and there's a great quote from jim Rohn that he said success is something you attract by the person you become so with that said make sure that you surround yourself with positive people people are going to help you to move you towards your goal not hold you back and move you away from your goals so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you all soon Who's...